first keeper. Was it 15? 15? That is my first keeper. All right, chill out. All right, so let's put him here. Fish I caught with uh, three bells in the first cast with Hobie, um, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna cook that up today. Um, we're gonna do something a little different. We did this with black sea bass, and it was really good. I just didn't film it. It is a uh, shrimp scampi um, and a lemon sauce or a lemon scampi sauce um, over the fish. So we're gonna do that with this tog, and um, it should come out good. So, first off, I'm going to read the, uh, the ingredients here. Um, obviously, you need the fish. Um, you need uh, some shrimp, because it is shrimp scampi. Capers, clo uh, clove of garlic, vegetable stock, a little bit of wine, a little bit of lemon, and a little bit of flour and some parsley. And that's it. It's a pretty simple thing. It's a little bit more preparation, but it's not too bad. It says here, prep time is 10 minutes. So, not too, too bad. But uh, my girlfriend Jennifer here is going to um, explain what, what's, what's, uh, what's going on and what she's doing. Okay. So yeah, let's go. All right, so we have here, as Elon said, there are ingredients, the wine, the capers, the garlic, a little salt and pepper, some veggie stock, uh, parsley, and we have our butter to roll in flour, which is a little different for for me, but we're going to try that out and see how it goes. Um, over here we have our lemon, so we have some fresh lemon. We have our shrimp is ready to go. Um, we've also put some extra virgin olive oil in our pan, so we're ready to get started. All right, I guess I better get the fish. All right, so I'm going to read the instructions here. And um, she's going to uh, she's going to do it. First off, it says to preheat oven to 350, which we have done. It is preheated. So it says to place fish uh, in baking pan and drizzle it with extra virgin olive oil. Which, there's the tog. Not the biggest tog in the world, but it'll do. So she's going to put it in the pan and drizzle away. bonus piece. Mm -hmm. All right. Now she's going to drizzle uh, drizzle fish with extra olive oil. A little dab will do you. And then we're going to sprinkle sea salt and black pepper. Normally we would use crushed pepper, but she happens to be out right now. So, this will do. Black pepper, though. That'll do. And it also uh, says to add... Uh, this is important. You need to splash. Add a splash of water. Whatever a splash is. Okay. 
Now that's going to keep the fish moist, I guess, according to the instructions here. So we're going to put that in the oven um, for 15 to 20 minutes. There we go, 15 to 20. All right, so now we're going to do the uh, the, uh, the shrimp part. Uh, in a small pan, add some oil, chopped garlic, and when the garlic starts to cook, add the shrimp. That's it. So we got our pan with some extra virgin olive oil. She's going to add some chopped garlic and um, and the garlic was just one clove so however how many tablespoons of clove is I don't know so when the garlic starts to cook add the shrimp okay so while that is the garlic is roasting we're going to um, roll butter and flour. Roll butter. That's a new one. Now it should be a butter is a tablespoon of butter rolled in flour. So you're going to kind of waste a little bit of stuff here, but that's all right. It's okay. All in the name of cooking, people. That's right. And it's always good to try something new. So we are trying someone else's recipe. But if this turns out great, let Elon know you want a copy. Let's see how this looks. So that, the fish is done. So now we just gotta work on the scampi here. When fish is, uh, when shrimp is almost, uh, oh, turn over, turn shrimp over and capers. So I would do that now. Mm -hmm. And that is what we're doing. Capers is going to be one tablespoon. Add a tablespoon of capers, which I'm being told you shouldn't eat. Well, you can eat capers. <laughs> I'm being told they're little rabbit turds. <laughs> they do look like little rabbit turds, but um, you can eat them. They are edible, otherwise you wouldn't be cooking with them. Um, but they do have a flavor, very unique. And either you like them or you don't. All right. When the shrimp is almost cooked, add a splash of white wine. Add a little splash of white wine. And then add stock, lemon juice, and butter. And the stock is uh, two ounces of vegetable stock, which is a quarter cup, right? Mm-hmm. Half, half a lemon of juice, right? half a lemon. Then, 
butter rolled in flour. And the butter is a uh, one tablespoon of butter rolled in flour. Ish. Sauce begins to thicken up, add parsley. Smells good. So our sauce is, is starting to thicken and she's gonna add some char chopped parsley. Which is a tablespoon. Or as much as you really like, I suppose. Now we need to remove from heat and serve it over the fish. That's kind of it. Let's see how this looks. At the table and uh, it smells good. I suppose you want to see it though, huh? There you go. Shrimps can't be over uh, toe tog. So, let's see how this tastes, huh? All right, dig in. No. The, uh, the fish itself, I'm just gonna do just the fish. Now we did this with black sea bass and it was phenomenal. So we chose to try it with the uh, toe tog because they both eat crab or you know crabs and you know similar similar uh, bait. So I figured that it would be a good a good match, and it's good. With a little bit of shrimp. I am not a huge shrimp fan, but. With the scampi and the fish, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. And did you enjoy your bite of capers? I don't think I had a caper yet. <laughs> I will be sure to uh, remove the rabbit turds. No, go ahead and eat it all together. <laughs> but no, this is a uh, this is a good option, peeps. It's uh. Toe Tog's good with this. It is very good with this. Mm -hmm. You can catch more, hon. I gotta get my cast off first. So there you go. There's another another um, recipe that um, you can use for probably multi-species, realistically. Yeah, because um, we did use it for the sea bass, and now we're using it for the Tog. And for both, it has been really good for us. Yeah, I mean... I'm sure, uh, you know, the southern species speckled trout, you know, probably can even do flounder or fluke. So yeah, there you go. I'm going to uh, try squeezing my lemon and um, finish here and um, yeah. So if you enjoy this, uh, you know, please uh, let me know, uh, comment below. And if you have a recipe that you want to share, please. By all means, put it up in the description, in the uh, in the comments, and um, yeah. And if you'd like this recipe, we're more than happy to share it with you. Uh, we've enjoyed it several times now, so we hope that uh, you will too. So please contact Elon, comment below. Quite like, um, and I'll have her write it up. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for hanging, and um, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for uh, notifications. And um, yeah, that's it. Until next time, see you out there.